Hello again, this is a, another quick five minute camera, film camera video where I'll be looking at um, a certain film camera. Uh, often they fall into the Lomography category, but in, in this instance, this falls into the classic film camera category. It's this little beast is a 19 early 50s. Uh, German Voigtlander 35mm camera. It's a folding camera, it's something I've only had for a, a few weeks and um, I'm afraid I'm going to have to put this video out in two parts because I should have been including uh, some examples of the, of the, uh, the film prints that I got from this camera. I took a roll of black and white, I sent it off to be developed. I got a message back saying, terribly sorry, we got a problem with our film tank, all your images were fogged and uh, uh, you've got to say FFS. <laughs> I mean unbelievable. One thing it has done, I've uh, gone back to developing my own, I've ordered all the materials for developing, for black and white developing. I used to do it years ago, it's probably 30 years since I've done black and white developing but it's persuaded me if you want a job doing, do it yourself. So I'm going to, next batch, I'm going to develop myself. So, yeah, as I say, it came out in 49. It's a German Voigtland Vito 2. It ran between 49 and 54, I think. It's a folding camera. Beautiful piece of work. Um, I don't know if you can get that. Can you get it? Focus. It is a 35mm, very small. In fact, if you compare it to the Lomo LCA, which is a Soviet camera, which I'm going to do a, a little vlog about in a few weeks, um, that's the size. And the, the Lomo is a very small camera for a start. And you can see how small it is. And it's absolutely beautiful piece of engineering. I mean, talk about Vorksdrungdurk technique. This is just the lovely, and it's a lovely condition. I mean, I only paid £20 for this. Well, £15 plus the postage. And it's absolutely perfect. It works perfectly. It takes a bit of getting used to. Um, and I'll show you, basically. You have the distance up the front here. The speed is this knurled wheel at the back. I say I can't really show you but I'll explain. Uh, the shutter is cocked via this lever here. Uh, aperture control is at the back. It goes from 3.5 to 16. Um, it has three little symbols at the bo bottom. I know the V, the green symbol, is, is flash. To be honest, I don't know what X and M, I have it on M and it works perfectly. I've tested the shutter, it opens and it fires perfectly. Um, just shut it a sec. Open the back, the back opens up and it's just a standard camera, 35mm camera. Film goes in here, this lifts up to get the film in. Just thread it onto the spindle here. It has a pressure, a pressure plate at the back here. Wind it on via these. And to, uh, once you come to the end of the film, you have to put, cock up this uh, little arm here. There's like a little arm at the back. Cock that up, keep it held up, and then turn in the direction of the arrow. Uh, to shoot, I'll just open it up again. Is this little little button here? Cut the shutter, and that's it. Fire, and it works. Yeah, considering this is going on for seventy years old, I mean it's an incredible piece of engineering. It works, it works perfectly. Um, as I, say, I haven't tested it with a film, <laughs> I have tested it with a film. As I've explained, but I haven't got the results. Uh, but it appears to, f to uh, fire appropriately according to aperture and speed. Uh, you can only get a rough 
a rough idea, but um, it seems to uh, fall into the appropriate apertures and spe film speeds. So I'm hopeful that it will be fairly accurate. Uh, yeah, there it is. And if you see one of these, <laughs> get one if you're into film photography. They're absolutely beautiful. You see, you get close up. They're a beautiful little camera, a real work of art. The folding lens, you uh, press these two buttons here and just snap it shut. Everything just fits together beautifully. Everything's just perfectly engineered. So that's just a quick look at the um, the Voigtlander Vito 2 from the early 1950s and hopefully in a couple of weeks I'll have a film run through the camera which I will develop myself and uh, I'll show you the results. So catch you soon. Ta-ra!